Hi, this is Chris from Maya Nemo, and today we're going to discuss the controversy of cables in the audio business. A friend of mine from the prestigious Audio Science Review website tried to explain to me that cables don't make a difference. What you are about to see is the complete dismantling of his argument. The first argument this ASR member tried to make was that cables don't matter at all. So, I put my cables on the left-hand channel, and we took the cables out on the right-hand channel, resulting in no sound from the right-hand channel. Well, of course, the ASR member said, of course cables matter. You actually have to have a cable. But the type of cable doesn't matter. So you notice how their story starts to change all of a sudden. Now cables are important. So we kept my cable, my speaker cables, connected on the left-hand channel and tried to connect an optical cable to the right-hand channel. This, of course, resulted in no sound again. Well, once again, the ASR member's story changed. Okay, now he admits that cables do matter. He admits that the hype of cable matters. But what he really meant from the very beginning to say was that if the type of cable is the same, then my expensive cables on the left won't make a difference between the cheapest cable I can find on the right. So I took a single strand from a 16 gauge lamp cord and ran it 120 feet long connected that to the right-hand speaker, and voila, we could hear significant difference between the left-hand channel with my high-quality cable and a single strand of 16-gauge lamp cord on the right-hand side. So our ASR member, losing three to zero, once again tries to change his tune. This time, it's that if the length is the same, if they're both made of copper, and the gauge is the same, and then he throws in the last caveat, and all other things are identical, then you won't be able to hear a difference between one cable and the next. Now, how can you not laugh at that scientific statement, that if all things are identical, you can't hear a difference? No, 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 my ASR friend says. I'm trying to tell you that a generic 14-gauge cable will measure and sound exactly the same as my expensive $1,000 cable on the other channel. <laughs> I started laughing. You're not even in audiophile realm. $1,000, try tripling that price just to get us in the ballpark of what we're talking about, fine quality cables. Well, that being said, he insisted on doing a test. We would listen to his cables 20 times, and I would listen to my cables 20 times. Well, as you may have already figured out and realized, the result was an astounding, perfect score from yours truly, hearing my cable completely differently than his generic cable. Now, once again, you've got to give the ASR member credit. He starts changing his story once again. I can't see the cables. So I only scored 20 to 0 on this test because I could see the cable I was changing. He insisted to physically come here and do a blind listening test with me. So, losing five to nothing, our ASR member shows up at my residency. So, after two hours of him blindly changing the cables back and forth, doing 20 tests to see if I could hear a difference, he was once again shocked and awed that I could hear the difference better than half the time. In fact, 11 out of 20 times, I could differentiate my cable from his generic cable. Our ASR member wasn't done now. Of course, he had to say that statistically, a 55%, 11 out of 20, is insignificant. He said to me, it's like flipping a coin 20 times. You're going to get at least, on average, 10 right. You were statistically insignificantly getting 11 out of 20 right. And I said, okay, I'll give you this one. I'll let you win this round. So in the end, Cables Matter 5, ASR member 1. 